Oh yeah, in this area too, I died like a shitload of times. Cause there's this dickhead. And then there's two dickheads in this room over here. this bullshit. No, nope. won't do that. Oh. There's a lot of like really trolly kind of traps and shit like that. Like you walk up the stairs and then you got that guy behind you throwing fire bombs. So like your very first time through, you'll get caught by a lot of dumb shit and die because you don't know it's coming. But if you know it's coming, it's easy to avoid. much if you see a corpse expect it to be alive because it usually is This is where you get the blacksmith's key. As far as I know, buying it off of this vendor is the only place you can get it. Thank you. Let's see. So does the rest of the, the stream look okay? Like, not pixelated? Because I was worried about it because I have it set up for like StarCraft and stuff, and usually games like this require like higher bitrate settings and whatnot. I'm a blacksmith. Bring me that key. Oh, I gotta open the door for him. Ah, yes, very good. Now I can get. But first, let me. Oh yeah, that's right. Ah, yes. Now, but first, let me set up. Come again. And usually when somebody tells you to come back later if you rest at a bonfire. Yeah, now he's in there. The rest is okay? Okay. Because I wasn't sure if I needed to up my bit rating or anything you like that. Stand back. The names and you are a man or not rope bone. Your equipment. So you can reinforce your armor. It'll cost souls, and then like like this needs a titanite shard. There's other types of higher level um, first weapon in armor. Yeah, I'll probably just upgrade this already. How much is it? Five twenty souls. Yeah, might as well. I'll be around if you make it back. And the more you upgrade it, the more materials you need and the more souls it costs, but it makes it stronger and better.
thing I can think of. Do one thing real quick. Tell me if the death counter looks the same or different. We moved. You again? <laughs> Wrong button. I don't think she has anything else. Well, the Pharaoh's stone too. It's kind of useful. Lively times, these are. <laughs> Dungeon nightmares. It's free on Steam. I've never even heard of it. That's the shortcut wall, isn't it? And that's locked. Yep, the reinforcement makes your weapon stronger. And the same thing for your like armor, like you can reinforce your shields and all your other pieces of armor. Trying to remember. That's right, there's that shit too. It was down. It's funny, playing off stream, I've like already gone through all this shit, and yet most of it I can barely fucking remember. But I know. I know there's some treasure down this way. Oh, fuck. Forgot you were there. Hmm. Usually scary games don't scare me, but I don't know. I can check it out. Maybe I'll stream it sometime. I think I want to take the ladder down. I think I want to keep going through this if I remember right. Yeah, and if I jump through that hole, I'll go back where I came from. Typically with this game, if you jump down somewhere, you can always come back up. You can't actually get, like, stuck somewhere. Or at least so far from my experiences. Oh, don't target the guy down there and fuck with my camera. Oh, for the uh, humanity to get back, you have to use this item called the Human Effigy. Um, you can buy them off some of the vendors. Some of the enemies will drop them. You'll find them in treasure chests. Um, but you don't want to get too nuts with using them all the time. So, Unless you're really hurting for health, I usually wait a bit. Like, before I fight the first boss, like once I get to that area, I'll totally use it. Because going into a boss fight, you want to be full. Oh fuck! You want to be full health. But just fighting these like easy to kill dudes, it's okay if I'm missing a little bit of max health. Oh no! If you run out of stamina when you try to block stuff, you uh get all knocked back and weird and like stunned for like a second or two. Which during a boss fight will oh, straight up usually kill you. Usually with uh. Fighting these dudes is not a big deal. Can't want. Okay. Well, I don't even know if I'll do any scary games or not. Since it's not really my thing. I could, I guess, do the really cheesy shit where I, like, do some scary games during Halloween time, like everybody else does, but I don't know. But I will definitely keep that in mind and we'll put up a warning. 
if I do decide to do like a scary game. So this place, there's treasure down there, but it's sort of a trap, but I think I'll be okay. There's gonna be a bunch of dudes behind me and then this dick is gonna be breathing fire out of me. This is just one of those things that doing it. Oh, damn it! Don't. Don't hit me. Fuck. I think it's just these two, I hope. Otherwise, I'm gonna back into something that's gonna kill me. I need to find a time to drink, and I think this is no time. But yeah, even like these really easy to kill, no nothing enemies can destroy you in this game if you're not careful. So you pretty much have to treat like every enemy with a ton of respect and fear. No. Wait, that door isn't locked, is it? Okay. Hey, would you stop it with that? This sword in here, I know a lot of people use. Where you behind? But most of the swords in the game that I played with, I didn't really care for that much. Because there's this mace I'm using, and then there's another like bigger club thing that I can't even get up to read the message. Um, bigger club thing that. I was using it does even more damage than this thing. Because <clears throat> the build that I'm going for is a strength based build, so I want like strength focused weapons. And there's other weapons that are more dexterity focused. And all the weapons have like um, minimum requirements of how much strength and, and or dexterity that you need to use them. If you don't meet the requirements, you can still equip them, but then you... Uh, you don't really wield them very well. Like, I believe it takes, like, way more stamina to swing him, and then you, like, swing it really slowly and awkwardly. Oh, fuck. That's right, he respawned, because I went to a bonfire. I wasn't expecting an enemy to be there. And also, a lot of these items, like this armor that I'm never going to use. Um, fuck is it, like, all this shit that's not as good as what I have. Eventually, you'll find vendors later in the game that you can actually sell stuff for souls. And I don't think there's a limit on your inventory that I know of. Don't firebomb me. No. Hopefully he died. Oh god. Yes, he died. Um, another thing to know is your weapons and armor can actually break. It does have durability. The durability is showing that little red bar underneath it in the bottom left hand corner of the map or, or the screen. <clears throat> Resting at the bonfire will automatically repair it. If it goes if the red bar actually goes all the way down and it breaks, then you have to go to the blacksmith guy and have him um repair it for you. Which costs souls. I can open this door yet. I think it opens from the other side. Yeah, it's like a shortcut. There's a lot of uh, shortcuts in this game. Then you go through an area for the first time, and then you have to go like around a long way. And then, yeah. If I jump down here, I'll die. Um, but once I get that ring from the talking cat, <sighs> I know you're alive. You get the ring from the talking cat that reduces fall damage. You can jump down there, and there's some treasure down there. 
I don't remember what it was though. And this door is also locked. Also, you'll find like a lot of locked doors, and it won't tell you what the key, the name of the key is that's required to open it. But typically, killing bosses is how you find most of your keys. Yeah, because I don't think I can go down the here yet either. No. Nope. Yeah, um, this game is not really, like, it, it has support for keyboard and mouse, but I would much prefer to use a 360 controller, and it's really, um, it's really made for playing with a controller. I mean, it's a console game that was ported to PC. They did a good job with the port, but it's still, it's still made to play with the controller. Oh, turned off funny. Okay, so this... I think I just have to jump down if I remember right. All these stupid dickhead archers shooting at me. Hopefully this doesn't hurt too much. Oh, maybe I can... Okay. I'm bad at judging the distance of falling of whether or not it's going to do damage to me or not. This little area sort of just leads to a secret thing. <laughs> kind of. Ouch. The fuck did that even come from? Is that guy way the fuck over there? This area is really annoying. But it's worth clearing out. So I have to dodge the arrows from the guy that's shooting me off to my right. Ow, I didn't have my shield up. No. Don't die here. Please don't die here. Damn it. There we go. I'm gonna go up there and kill the dickhead arrow dude. And then go into the cave thing. There's an NPC there that will give you a key to what they I think it's just called the mansion, which is one of the houses in the like that starting city area thing, whatever the fuck it's called, Majula. And there's some treasure in there that's pretty damn good. I think there's like a flask shard, and then I don't know if there's anything else in there, but the flask shards are really, really good. The more you can drink, the better off your. Oh, fuck, that's right, I gotta go all the way back around now. <sighs> but I wanna get rid of him, so it's okay. So I'll hop down here. I don't know if there's any more... I think there might be more shit down there that I could get, but I don't know if it's even worth getting. A lot of the stuff in the starting area is not even worth fucking with. And see, because I, you know, played this before I knew that was going to happen. You actually just keep walking and you'll get caught by that boulder. It's... Death ahead. Uh, that's, yeah, it's just a hole. But pretty much too with this game, anytime you walk into a new area, be paranoid as shit. I actually had both Darksiders 1 and 2 and never finished either one of them. And I was also thinking about maybe streaming those eventually as well. Come on, just give me your key. But I do. I came, drank. Have you seen? I. 
Inside I now Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Then what? Give me your key. Wonderful. Shit. Yes, I love maps. Watch your fucking key. There we go. What a joy to me. Incredible, really, isn't it? Oh, I don't think there's anything else to say. Not, but I can't be something about it feels wrong. Yeah, I don't know what he means by going deep into the mansion, because there's like nothing hardly explored in the mansion, because I was always confused by that uh, the first time I went through this. Mm, I think there's... can I safely not kill myself here? Yeah, I'll just be safe and go back the other way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that about Darksiders too, that they hope there's going to be two, two more. Because of that reason with the the four horsemen and the apocalypse stuff, and then I heard uh, there was not that long ago some news about it that uh, I don't I can't remember which company, but somebody bought like the rights to Dark Siders, and they said there will be a Dark Siders three. Whether it'll be good or not, I don't know, but. But there was no like release date or even confirmation of like when they would even get going with it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna be. Oh, there's a dude back there. Oh, he's just dead. And... Well, that's interesting. He's half inside the wall and dead and twitching. Okay. But I'm actually gonna go back up here. <sighs> I'm gonna go level up a little bit, but then refill my flask before I go forward. Actually, too, I should go in the mansion now that I got the key, anyway. strength. And then the way, let's see, show you what the weapons. Let's show the scaling off of this. Maybe it's through. Wait, no, I didn't want to unequip it. Ah, there we go. So, down in the bottom left, where it's where you see that C, that's its scaling rank. Um, A is the well, I think S is the best, and then it goes A B C D E. So the better the letter is for the scaling, uh, the more of a bonus you get when you increase your strength in terms of how much damage it does. And also gain some bonus damage off of, uh, well, this mace. Yeah, E for dexterity. So if I put points into dexterity, it'll also increase my uh, damage with it. Uh, I have The Witcher 2. I don't think I have the first one and never finished it. But I liked what I played of it. It was a really good game. Just really bad about starting games and not finishing them. Which is why hopefully I'll be doing a lot of playthroughs with stuff. Like once I finish Dark Souls 2, I might start up Dark Souls 1. Um, so I haven't finished that. And we'll kind of go from there. But there's a lot of games I have that I've never finished. I've never finished Dishonored either. That noise is just the pigs outside. Trish chest. Oh, 
Another shard. Torch. Place is so freaking like, maze like. There we go. Is there. Yeah, I know there's like some skeletons down here. I didn't think they were that strong though. Definitely not. And then plus two, I'm using a mace, which I think this game is in the realistic sense of blunt weapons doing more damage to like skeletons and freaking like swords don't do shit to them because it's slashing. Soul vessel. I swear there was a Estus flask charred thing in here. There we go. I did remember right. That's really true. It says it's illusion, but I know there are like th definitely secret, hidden, fake walls and shit. Illusionary wall, but impossible. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hitting it won't do shit. No. And also, too, if we're like hitting walls and stuff, will actually really fuck the durability up in your weapon. Like you'll break it really quick. So you have to be careful with that. Mm, the guy's not here. Oh, that's right. The fire's not. There's no fire lit yet. Because I haven't killed the... I think it's when you kill the first boss. So I got another flash shard, so I'm already up to three, or will be up to three once I talk to this chick again. Is that a shard you found? Here, to see light, however. I think I can level up again. Yep. So right now... <laughs> It costs 997 souls to level up. And when you level up, you just pick a single stat. Every time you level up a stat that is not health, you still gain some health. Like right now I'm at 830, I'll be at 832. So there's no really no need, like, I don't think there's any point in actually straight up leveling your health, your max health, because... It levels up even though it's very slowly with the other stats. Ah, uh, gotcha. I played most of those games that you actually listed. For Bioshock, I beat, what is it, Bioshock Infinite or whatever, the newest one, but I never beat the other Bioshock games, but I have them. So that's another thing I could stream too. Um. I played Kingdoms, Kingdoms of Avalar, but I actually didn't really care for that game that much. And then, let's see, Age. I didn't really get into the Mass Effect games at all, either. Killed himself. Oh, 
know if that actually leads to somewhere or not, because it looks like there's shit back there, but all these rocks in the way. But maybe that's something later in the game that I don't know about, since I haven't... Like I said, I played some of it off-stream, but there's a lot of stuff I haven't done yet. But, oh, fuck. There's another dude. He was done attacking. Took that in the face. See, I also know what's gonna happen right here. And there's probably no way I'm gonna one-shot this. Bird. Get rid of this dude. I don't actually if I get rid of him though. Well, whatever. No, don't kill me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, the bird was carrying what's the sec what is the second boss? And you actually can fight him and kill him right then and there, but you only have one chance to do it, and since I just fucked up and died, I don't even get a shot at it. I believe if you kill him there, you get like a bonus item. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, the only thing, like, my main complaint about Bioshock Infinite was, um, uh, like, the way you had, like, unlimited ammo and all that shit because Elizabeth was just there feeding you shit. I thought that was kind of silly. I, like, I really like the story in the game, but... No! Damn it! Yeah, for the other two Bioshocks, I didn't really play them much. They're like really cheap, like on a Steam summer sale or something, and I got them both like together in a package for like, I don't know, like five bucks or something ridiculously cheap. <sighs> yeah, so I don't get to, don't get the track for the Pursuer, but whatever. We'll get him later. Because he was actually what killed me. I think he was what actually got me in the back. No! Stop it! So, this guy up here will actually open up the secret entrance, or the shortcut for me if he does it right. Throw it! No, not there! The wall, you dick. Well, let's get rid of this guy first. So there are actually walls that can be broken by, uh, at least fire bombs, and this is one of them. Come on, throw it now. Really? Come on. Well, I opened it. So those, in those barrels, did it actually, yes, okay. So it is open here. So in those barrels are like explosive shit. And so when that firebomb hits it, they all blow up. Which blows that hole open. Which then gives you a nice little shortcut with that bonfire. So that all the shit that I went through. God damn it. Earlier I don't have to like re go through when I run. Just think of First boss isn't too far from here. Stop it. I think I'm just gonna ignore him. He can only throw those things so far. Yeah, 
it's bad. It's like I, I know all the like fuck up ways I can die in this area and I'm still dying to it. Well, that's okay. Yeah, this is really dangerous too, that hole on the right. I'm not gonna go in there yet. Hello there. Well, I oh hog. My name is I journey hither and thither. Be careful out there. Oh yes. There's treasure in there for sir. I saw the same design earlier. I was with this warrior, you see. The rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot. I still have the gent's ring. I do. I'll leave this one to you. I'll leave this one. Now. Yeah, I've already died way more than I expected to. I figured I'd like just one shot everything, kill the first couple bosses, be amazing. So I already know all this shit. And I usually roll to break barrels and stuff because it doesn't fuck with my weapon durability. Especially if they're right next to a wall because you end up hitting the wall and then it fucks up your weapon. Oh yeah, that's right. Just like three of these assholes. No. Oh god. So it's funny, like even the most uh, simple enemies that aren't even that tough, when they're in a fucking... Damn it, don't hit the wall. When they're in a group, they're dangerous as hell. and like that told me that there was a, a secret there so reading these things are useful sometimes and I didn't even know that was there from my first playthrough so that's something new to me what's not new is this asshole archer that's sitting on top of the fucking stairs fuck off Sorcerer's staff and an herb. Well, I'm not gonna do magic, so that's useless to me, but... Still, a secret that I didn't know about, so that's kinda cool. Pray for bloodstain. The thing is, it always scares the shit out of me is when it shows, like, the the ghost of the, the dead people walking by you. I always think it's, like, another enemy or something. I'd fucking freak out. Yeah, but I can get over there a different way. The thing you can do from here is jump down. Man, I hope that's not gonna kill me. I don't think it will. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave warrior didn't be careful out there. Oh. It allows undead to call out for help to one another. So what the white soapstone does, it actually lets me put, uh... Some. I think that's what allows me to put the that notes careful. down on the ground or something. I can't remember. I never used it. Oh, it's a summon sign. Okay. So you can actually, like, summon other players to your game to help them, uh, to have them help you kill bosses, <laughs> which I find is really lame because the bosses are kind of made for a 1v1 battle against them, and then it just cheapens it and makes it too fucking easy. So I never summon people. So if I wouldn't have rolled right there, I would have died because that ballista would have fucking shot me and killed me. No. Nope. Ah ha ha. 
don't do that. We got plenty of life gems, we'll just use that because we're out of potions. We're out of Estus. Why did I accidentally unequip my mace? I don't want to punch him. God damn it. Yep. Yeah, like I said, I'll try to get everything up on the YouTube channel. So, like, when I go offline tonight at midnight Eastern, I'll try to get it all, like, cut up into, like, one-hour sections and then put it up on YouTube. Hopefully it'll work. And if not, then tomorrow I'll have to figure out a way to, like, do a local recording while streaming, if that's even possible. My computer's pretty good, but it's not, like... As good as, as good as it could be. So I don't know if we can handle doing like a local recording while streaming. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Oh god. And treasure chests can be trapped like that one. Um, that was poison, but it didn't poison me enough to actually poison me. The way, um, like, negative stat status effects work is that bar will appear on the screen, and if it fills all the way up, then you actually become affected by the stat. And there's, like, bleeding and poison and, and poison. Um, petrify, which is instant death because you get turned to stone. It's not open from this side. I do have a Pharaoh's Lock Stone. I think I should use it here, if I remember right. Throughout the game, there's quite a few of these Pharaoh's Lock Stone things that you can find. There's one you can buy off a vendor. And it'll unlock, like, secret areas like this. I can't remember what was in here, if there's anything good or not. Titanite Slab. I think this is a trap. Oh yeah, it's an amazing ring. So what this ring does increases your stamina recovery rate. So now when I'm fighting stuff, my stamina bar comes back much, much quicker. Which is actually really, really huge. So like coming here, like it's worth using that lockstone to get here. <laughs> to get that open. Um, the quicker you get this ring, the better off you are. And now that they have that around me is the effects of the ring. Let's go up from here. Not all of the areas that are accessible from the Pharaoh's Lock Stone uh, are actually useful though. Did that, did that. Bullshit. So there's a bunch of dudes up there throwing firebombs on you. But I can go. And all those crates too will blow up if they get hit by a firebomb. That's right, there's treasure here. Dead. I think... Yeah, I think you gotta, like, do something with that guy later. Like, at the end of the game. Get, have, like, a special item or something and bring it there and something will happen. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> Looks like my mace is gonna get... Supposed to be broken. That's one thing you really want to pay attention is your durability on your weapons. Because it's really fucking hard to switch out a weapon mid-fight. And you can equip more than one weapon. But if you do that, it increases your, uh, your weight that you're carrying. The more weight that you're carrying, the slower you'll end up moving. If you go above 70%, which the, the information... Actually, my webcam's probably blocking it. Yeah, it is. 
Um, well, the in-game music wouldn't be affected by YouTube bullshit. But no, this is what you're hearing. Like, right now, you're just hearing like, wind and shit. That's all there is. Um, when you're in, like, boss fights, though, there is some pretty, like, epic-sounding music. Which is also why I'm not playing my normal, like, metal and shit in the background, like I normally do. That and plus two, I want to put all this up on YouTube, and if I do play copyrighted music on stream, obviously. Trying to put it up on YouTube is a bad idea, because it'll immediately flag your shit and take it down, or, um, strip all the audio out of it. Can I jump there? I think I can jump that. Fortunate soul. This fucking place sucks, but I think there's actually something good in that chest if I remember correctly. Like three of these dudes all clumped up in one spot. Don't, don't do that. Don't. No. Ah, not bad. I almost think I should pop an effigy soon. See, there's a ring called the Ring of Binding, which then redo makes it sort of the maximum hollowed you can be, or the maximum penalty to hollowed is 75% XP, where normally it's 50%. Fucking hell, I'm gonna die right here. No, I don't need to use life gems when I flash. I don't want to die because I had like a lot of souls. So I need to go back to where I dropped those souls. I'm gonna shit back. Why did I. Ow. Fuck. Oh no, I just permanently lost a bunch of souls. Yeah, I had videos. I had a bunch of videos for World of Warcraft that had to get taken down. Because when I was I was big into... Uh, wait, why am I going down there when I can go through the shortcut? I was big into um, high-end raiding guilds and all the like the end-game raiding content. And I used to make boss kill videos. And then I just put, like, music to them. And they're up there for a while. And then all of a sudden, YouTube was like, nope. The stupid thing is... Is that those videos are actually what gave me enough views to... Uh... Gave me enough views so I could actually do monetization on the, uh, account. So I can actually play ads and make money off the ad revenue on my YouTube videos. But it was from videos popular videos that had music on them, they ended up getting pulled. And then I quit making WoW videos, and then I haven't really done much with the channel. Which is why I want to start putting, like, the Twitch VODs up on it. Or at least the ones that... like this, were Fucking hell. How are we gonna have to use an effigy? Like, I have absolutely no fucking health right now. Die already? So I'm um, died enough that now I'm at like the max penalty for health. So it won't go any lower than this, but obviously it's extremely low. Now if I could have not sucked when I went through the that the first area where I first started off the stream where I was dying all the time to those big stone dudes, there's a ring there that will make it sort of the the most health you can lose is seventy five percent instead of fifty percent. And it's very noticeable. So you just keep that ring on, and then you don't even have to worry about using the effigies for the most part. So there's three of them. So this is one of those things for two, or if I did magic or focused on range stuff like a bow, it wouldn't be that bad. 
but god damn it but I feel that playing this game with ranged is really like cheating it's also not that much fun because you can just stand at like max range and like blast shit down so I watched somebody stream like they're playing like a magic using class and it made a lot of the fights like pointless like super super easy and I don't see the point of making this game easy Fire bomb dropped on my head. Yeah, almost got me. Hey, my new guy. I can't remember what's in that treasure, if it's worth getting or not, but usually I don't really want to pass up treasure. No! Come on. There we go. That sucks, Cavitus. Alright, so I'm gonna use an effigy now. <sighs> no, I actually fucking have a health bar. Should be able to kill these three, no problem now. I just don't wanna fight, damn it! Why did you target the guy in the back instead of the guy right in front of me? Okay. So I'm gonna fight on the chest, because I think it's possible for these guys to actually break it with their attacks. And if the chest gets broken, you can't... Uh, the item inside of it gets destroyed. There we go. It's a lot easier when I actually have health to work with. using a helmet. I don't think I'll use either. What's the helmet? Yeah, it's not even... Whatever. At least I got it. Like I said, later in the game there's a, there's vendors that you can sell shit to, so I can always sell that stuff. Come on. Oh, shit! No. Oh! God damn! Don't kill me! See, if you leave those guys alive up top, you can trick him into getting firebombed and blown up. And we're almost to the first boss. That's that door is locked. I think everything's locked. What's that? And then there's... So there's a doorway up to the left that leads to the boss, if I remember correctly. That mist actually leads to the boss. If my terrible memory serves me correct. But there's... Hey, don't block me. What the fuck? Straight up knocked me on my ass. But going up this way, there's some treasure. I can't remember what it is, but I know it's... 
I have to be really careful not to die on this stupid thing so you can get knocked off. Fall into the water and die. Oh, my halberd, which I won't ever fucking use. Ow! God damn! I'm just gonna go back to the bonfire and level up a little bit more. Shit also means all this shit respawn, but. <sighs> I'm not too concerned about that. Spore souls. When I played off stream, I kind of farmed a bit. And this time around, I'm. I'm not gonna do that. I can help it. Bearer, seek, seek, lest. More strength. Actually, wait before I go. Do I have any more of those shards to upgrade this mace anymore? I think I do, but I'm not sure. I knew you. Reinforce. Yes, I do. I just don't have the souls for it, so what I'll do. Don't waste my time. So I'll use. One of the souls that I picked up. What? Which is, this is the reason too why I hold on to him. And now it's stronger. I don't have enough shirts for the next upgrade. Because you really don't want to carry excess souls with you. Just in case you do end up dying and then not being able to get him back. Die in a really bad spot and you have to fight through like a lot of really hard enemies or something. Ow. I don't want to fight you guys. What if I can just run? I don't think I can run past him. Yo. Pack me or something. Fuck. <sighs> I knew that was gonna happen. So one way you can kill him really easy is to bait him into getting blown up. Now I'm starting to become hollowed again, but I think the penalty is like 5% health each death. So it really isn't that much. There we go. Although I kind of got blown up too. I don't really need flash for the boss though. Boss is like really, really easy because. It's the first boss, and it should be easy when I get to it. Oh, this area's already been explored, and there's no reason to go around and kill shit, so... Uh, I plan on starting the stream tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. And there'll be more Dark Souls. Ooh, come here. No. Yay. So these things, those little critter dude that I just killed, are like rare sp Well, they're not like rare spawns. They always spawn in the same place. Once you kill them, they don't respawn. He just gave me two Titanite shards. They always give you good, um, 